Brooklyn. What's going on? You're watching Bailey one second, and then you just bounced. I'm sorry. I'm just overwhelmed. I'm trying to process everything we just learned, you know? Everything Drew told us. The miracle that he's alive. The fact that Jason isn't. Just it puts all of our personal drama. The fact that my dad is disappointed in me again in perspective. All the sacrifices that we're making for Bailey, they'll be worth it in the end. They have to, because not everyone is so lucky. Not everyone is going home to their loved ones tonight. You know what this is doing to Maxie and to Valentine, to everyone. How devastated Charlotte's gonna be when she finds out that Bailey isn't her baby sister. Not to mention what this is doing to Bailey. I mean, she's bonding with the wrong woman as her mother. Well, what about you? What about me? I mean, aren't you hurting? Me? My part in this is basically telling some lies, which is a skill I acquired at a young age and have nearly perfected. Well, and taking care of Bailey, which surprisingly I'm pretty good at. She? That's my point. Valentine, Maxie, Charlotte, of course, they're, they're sad right now, but one day when this secret comes out and Bailey goes back to Maxie, you are going to be the one who's suffering. Have you thought about that? Okay, fine. It's going to hurt everyone. But after the information that we just learned, that Peter is responsible for Jason's death, that he imprisoned Drew for over two years, it proves that we are doing the right thing, keeping Bailey safe from Peter. Maxie made the right decision. Well, now that Peter's in custody with the WSB, maybe we won't have to keep up this pretense much longer. From your lips. Chief, what are you doing here? Chase, uh, sorry to bother the family on a holiday, but I need to ask you some questions about Valentine. Let me guess, Valentine is filing charges against me, saying I committed fraud or something? Fraud? No. Why would you say that? Uh, no reason. Probably just shouldn't have had that second glass of wine with dinner. Come on, what, what are you doing here, Mac? It's Thanksgiving. You should be at home with Felicia, Maxie, the kids. Well, I'd like to be, but when the PCPD has a formal complaint lodged against the department, I have to pay attention. Now, I don't know the whole story, but Valentine is saying that one of my detectives assaulted him over a personal matter. <sighs> That's ridiculous. Chase was just standing up for me. Brooklyn, there'll be a time and place for you to give your version of things, but this is an extremely serious matter, which is why I'm not with my family on this holiday. And I need to speak to you, Detective Chase, about what happened in private. Let me get this straight. Oh my God, I've gotten you in trouble with your boss, haven't I? How bad is it? Max suspended me from the forest for six months. Well, when